Hello and welcome to another Slayer Guide. Today we're going to be doing Lava Strike Worms. So what you're going to want for these is tier 80 armor, I find is the best. You can do it with less. Tier 70 is, is viable. I've even done this with tier 60 back when there was PvP in the wilderness. Weapon wise, I tend to go with tier 90s. Again, you can do it with tier 80s. I used to do it with real dragon body and uh, a raw crossbow. I used to use that setup back when there was PvP in the wilderness. So this tusk is located in the wilderness. This is being recorded after the wilderness update, which means that you are not mandated to PvP in the wilderness. So there's no risk in this. So the setup I've gone with uh, includes a Slayer Helm, a Blood Emulator of Fury. Now, if you Prayer Flick, and you can do Prayer Flick, because uh, you have to use Protection Prayers and you have to change between uh, Range and Magic. You can Prayer Flick to Soul Split. If you're good at that, I recommend an Amulet of Souls. Love Fury works just fine. Additional items you're going to want. You're going to want a spring cleaner for the salvage items. You're going to want a gem bag because there are quite a, a lot of gems that drop, Dragonstone particularly. Uh, so I'm taking Overload. You're going to want some sort of prayer renewal. Uh, so I've gone with Super Prayer Renewal Potions. Um, actually, I'm editing that bit out because that's absolutely pointless. I'm using Holy Overloads. Super Restores. Going to want to, to buff up your, your prayer regen. Uh, simply put, you're going to be... If you don't have prayer, you can't do this task, basically. Gone with Magic Note Paper. You definitely want to be noting those Steering Ashes drops. Now, this task also drops three very rare items, and they are exceptionally rare. Uh, halved in drop rate when they're on task so those are the wyme spike 9 million wyme heart say 3 million wyme scalp 16 million now with the rest of my setup i've literally just gone food uh don't care don't worry about baron sharks you see baron sharks don't worry about just take food i would recommend sharks or monkfish rock tail is probably too much so first thing you want to do is you want to actually go to edgeville uh, this is good practice to do this every time you get this task because you don't know when you've last been training hunter with a demonic necklace or something or runecrafting. You don't know you don't know when you've last been tagged. Uh, so it's always always a good idea to talk to this guy and make sure your PvP is off. So no. So I'm opted out. Now, this guy, this guy in red, he's the guy that allows you to opt out of PvP. Uh, once you've got that, you can just teleport to the Wilderness Crater, the Lodestone. Now, in terms of Aura, so I'm going to show the route on screen. In terms of Aura, you are going to probably want either Vampirism or uh, Penance. But I'd say Vampirism is probably best here. Vampirism and take some, some stuff for prayer. Uh, it's, you might have to do more than one trip here. Uh, it is possible. I'm also taking a pack yak full of food. Uh, it, there's very few opportunities to bank here because there is a bank guy that passes by. But sometimes you might be in the middle of combat and you can't talk to him, and then he goes towards the dark beasts that are right next door. Can't talk to him again. And yeah. And there was a bank north. Uh, they used to be the, the perfect place to bank, but now there's great ash demons because why not? Okay, so here you see these mounds. You want to target these mounds, and so. There are, there's a prayer flick here. So if you see them throw a boulder somewhere else, you pray range. If they fire a bolt directly at you, you pray magic. Now I'm using ranged here. I believe you can use magic here. It's, it is viable. I 
they do drop fury sharks, but they don't drop them regularly enough to be reliable. Don't rely on them. So, obviously, there are wilderness mechanics to keep an eye out for. So, I'm going to keep killing them until they've shown us the two types of attack and their two special attacks. So, you want to stay out of melee range. This makes prayer swapping easier because it's easier to prayer swap between two stars and three. Right, so that's another attack when they drag you in. You just want to move away as quick as you can. The other attack, they'll burrow. Uh, it's really simple, just don't go in the way. They So this task is extremely good for money. Extremely good for summoning charms. They give you a lot of uh, blue charms. And they're actually not bad Slayer XP. So this is the last special attack. So they're not bad Slayer XP. They're not great uh, combat XP, I find. But Slayer XP, they're fine. So yeah, that is Lava Strike Worms. Hope you have fun. And I'll see you guys next time.